a light, you know, hopefully as light as possible with as much movement. That's kind of the goal, I think, of this exercise, the heel rocks, that you have you know, just a little flexion and extension, a little um, digging in of the heel. If you're not familiar with this exercise, the heel stays stationary on the floor, so you're not just pointing and flexing your toes. Um, but the rippling wave tra travels all the way up to your head. You get a, an effect. So you're levering through. Granted, it's a wave motion, but you're levering through the body. And you're looking for that yes nod. If the head is just sliding on the back of the floor, giving your little snarls in the back of your hair, send your attention to your TMJ and the back of the head and the throat and just see if some softening can happen there. <sighs> and then pause once again and allow the weight of your body, weight is mass plus the force of gravity, so sinking in towards the floor. Now, working with my definition of moving around the center, begin to take, uh, you might want to switch your focus to the surface of your skin. That can be helpful from a, a dancing point of view. And start you know, exploring with your feet, different surfaces of your legs and arms, and even rolling the entire body. So in a dance class, I would just say roll the body to explore the entire surface of the skin. And in this context, I am thinking I'm not really moving into my center, I'm moving around my center. And in my world, I'm calling that indirect. It's also maybe closer I, you know, to that curvilinear pathway in space, perhaps. Sometimes I feel my, my pelvis carving around my 